Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Raven and today I will show you how to install Xfire on a new computer and how to insert my profile. Originally I didn't plan to make such a video but the user Pouchon514 had problems to insert my profile at his own computer so yeah I want to help him and everyone else who have problems with this. So let's start with the video. To insert my profile you need two things an Xfire setup X uh, and my profile which you can find at ModDB or your own profile. Um, I have made a separate video where I show how you can save your old profile if you still have it. So let's continue. First install Xfire. So uh, my Xfire version here starts right after the installation. So wait until everything is loaded for the first time. And then you will see that there is of course uh, no profile uh, yet. So close Xfire. I go to Xfire and then to Exit. Now open the profile you downloaded or your own profile folder which you made. And also open another Windows Explorer and open the folder Xfire which is located at C Program Data Xfire. And now copy your old profile data in to this folder and overwrite any data which is already there if Windows asks. If you don't see the folder program that data at your C drive, you maybe first have to enable the show hidden objects function of your Windows Explorer but if you want to know how to do this uh, just just Google for it uh, you will find a solution. So now you need to open the second <laughs> folder which is called Xfire. This is located in C Users, your username, then App Data, Roaming and Xfire. Uh, yeah, the folder itself is Xfire, not um, located in the folder Xfire. <laughs> so now again copy the parts of your profile out of the zip archive which you downloaded from ODB and insert it into the Xfire folder. You can close the Explorer windows now and restart Xfire. Wait until Xfire has searched for the installed games and now you see here is my profile. I don't know if the user Pouchon514 
ran into problems because of the Xfire version he used. So for my version that I used here is the version 1.155 with the build 46139. Uh, you can see which version you have by clicking on help in your Xfire program and then add info. Feel free to leave a comment if you run into other problems or just if you have to say something to the video. I also want to apologize that the video how to create codes for unsupported games isn't out yet. Um, there are different reasons for that. So the main reason is that making this video is more complicated than I first thought. And yeah, on the other hand, my Google account got hacked last week and yeah, also I'm really busy with my real life job at the moment. But the video will come, <laughs> you can count on that. And yeah, I hope you like this video. So, have a nice day.